when you hear the story from Melody? What do you think of the fate of the Little Indians? Their miserable fate ensnared by a non-ending genocidal nightmare. With the founding of the United States of America in 1776, violence against American Indians escalated into mass atrocities. Ever since. The U.S. government had launched over 1,500 attacks on Indians, slaughtering their people, plundering their land, and offering bounties for their scalps. The U.S. state of California offered five dollars for the severed head or scalp of an Indian. In mid-19th century, when an average American could only earn 25 cents a day. Chivington's men are actually taking the heads and scalps of women and children and parading them through the streets of Denver. The U.S. government applied forced sterilization to Indian women in the name of health. In the early 1970s, nearly half of Indian women of reproductive age were sterilized. As a result. Many small tribes became extinct. Mass atrocities led by the U.S. government spelled doom for the native civilization. In 1492, there had been five million Native Americans. By 1900, only 237,000 were left. Moreover, the Indian Removal Act of 1830 drove some 100,000 Indians to the territory west of the Mississippi River, so that white people could take over their ancestral lands. From sweltering summer heat to biting winter cold, those Indians had to walk 16 miles a day. Pregnant women, who could not keep up, were shot dead. Thousands of Indians died on the way. Whereas white people celebrated the West Movement, Indians mourned the Trail of Tears. By the mid 19th century, the U.S. government had relocated most Indians to the remote and barren lands to the west of the Mississippi River, the so-called Indian Reservations. In the Indian Reservations. Indian children were forced into boarding schools where they were not allowed to speak their own language, wear traditional clothes, or carry out any Indian-related activities. Hungry, diseased, and abused, many children lived and died in misery. I got hit so much that I I lost my tongue. I lost my native tongue. The only thing I remember was my Indian name. We have the Navajo as we find him in the desert. Few of these boys and girls have ever seen a white man. A total of 367 such boarding schools were recorded in U.S. history. By 1925, more than 60,000 Indian students had been sent to these so-called schools. The federal government also launched the Indian Adoption Project. Numerous Native American children were taken away from their parents and given to white families through forced adoption. They took us away from our mom. They came marching right in and literally took us and thousands of other children from their home. Locked in remote territories, lacking water, resources, and infrastructure. These Indian reservations were not conditioned for economic growth, and soon became some of the poorest parts of America. Did say we don't really have economic developments here. We have two stores. Some communities don't have any. Worse still. 
These reservations have become dumping grounds for toxic substances and nuclear wastes. The U.S. government conducted 928 nuclear tests in the lands of the Shoshone tribe. These tests generated some 620,000 tons of radioactive fallout, nearly 48 times that of the atomic bombing that devastated Japan's Hiroshima. In the Navajo Nation, the largest Indian reservation in the United States, one in four women and some of their babies have in them radioactive substance in high concentrations. As a result, the locals are under much higher risk of cancer, kidney, and cardiovascular diseases, as well as birth defects. We want clean water and clean air for our precious children and grandchildren so that they will have the same opportunity to once again play in the meadows and canyons of my childhood. Thank you. Massacres, forced relocation, and cultural suppression against American Indians by the United States constitute a de facto genocide. Foreign policy reported that U.S. crimes against Native Americans meet the definition of genocide in every sense and the international law. It's about time the United States gave up its double standard in human rights and came clean with the world about its crimes and designed for the Indian to fail, to be expendable, to be eliminated. Four little, five little, six little Indians. Yesterday, American Indians were haunted and massacred. Today, they are hurt and disappointed. The melody lingers on, and the nightmare has never ended.